able to get to we fit uh imagine miss spacing like bayonetta can go super deep you know uh but imagine bayonetta miss spaces one move you know like, like whiffs one option that's that's a side b that's a spike you know that's a forward a, that's a spike that's a down a, that's a spike to be uh, fair it's only reverse over there <laughs> it's only the it's foiled it. Absolutely, yeah. Who, who'd expect, uh, you know, you foiled it to have a hitbox behind you? Why not? Yeah, you know? why not? <laughs> Thanks, Mane, for the follow. As a, I'm actually kind of surprised we didn't see the... Uh, what is it? We're not seeing the Robin immediately. A num trying to take advantage of numbers is the uh, most sacred home, the ledge, mm -hmm. by just putting arc fire there and making him suffer. Yeah, but... Alas, but Numbers has shown he's a... Oh, oh. my god. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> I... It is... Okay. So no. it is not often at all that you see Bayonetta get spiked like that. Because she usually has a big hitbox at the top of her head, always keeping her safe. You never want to challenge Bayonetta offstage. But Numbers, no fear, just went down there, was able to clean up that stock. And right now, Numbers is sitting so confident right now. Beautiful lead on that air dodge. She was able to connect the down air. Unfortunately, not much else other than a little bit of damage, but <laughs> I love that. Numbers, numbers is just patiently waiting. You can charge S smash at whole distance all you like. Wow, the hulu beat out Ben is up air. Oh my god. Uh, you just have to be a little bit careful about like the way that you are landing uh, on top of hulu hoops because you know we fit isn't particularly invulnerable to it. You know. Definitely has a couple of blind spots on it. We just have to be really, really precise with his spacing. Uh, that being said, was able to get the head of the, the, the slow moving head into the up smash. It's always when those like really slow projectiles like combo into a hit. Ooh, like damn, that was hype. That was slow cool. projectiles are absolutely broken. Being able to travel and manipulate them at your whim, while soccer ball is a lot harder to manipulate, it's active for 50 frames. Like. You have the time to get in the proper position if you're Wii Fit, who's so fast already. Oh, okay, that's, yeah. Yeah, you call him out there. Mm -hmm. Um, and again, Amarillos has a lot of work to make up for. Numbers has no reason to approach. Numbers has no reason to hold forward. Numbers can just run away. Uh, do what he does best, you know, go off stage, do out a couple of headers, and just like that was able to increase his percent lead even more, coming up with the sun salutation, and almost, he had a one in three chance to take the stock with that. You know that? He, he flipped the coin. Granted, you know, uh, he, he, he didn't call it right, but still, that's scary. Reef it's, reef it's up smash is terrifying. <laughs> Ones with three sides, it's, it's a triangle coin. Leave it be. Very impressive coins. It must be Canadian. <laughs> It must be Canadian. Yeah. Don't, don't question. Don't question the physics of uh, of the coins that I'd be flipping. Okay. Uh, but either way, right now, Numbers. Uh, this is this is looking so good for him right now. But Emily was finally able to take on a little bit of damage. Love that up tilt into the neutral air. On uh, that F smash, not gonna kill quite yet. Maybe like if the deep breathing. That's the uh, that's the X factor there. Making sure he, his fall speed was just that little bit lower, or just that little bit higher. Excuse me. And it maintained his life just that little bit longer. Had Emily was just charge, the oh. smash just a little bit longer, uh, that would have definitely been it, but unfortunately, getting stuck on the platform. Uh, did he input a button? What, what happened? What's what's going on? Uh, this, this looked like it was... He meant to run off this platform that he landed on here. Ah, uh, but maybe just like got a maybe just like got a walk instead. Um, either it, way, really, really unfortunate for Amarillos. Uh, he nears out a hit stun, and then it's just in the ledge teeter animation. So I think he did not want to be on that platform. But mm -hmm. alas, here we are in game two. Mm -hmm. I, I have to say though, like you know, John paced the set really beautifully. As soon as they established that like early stock lead, they were just able to run away with it for the rest of uh, for the rest of the game. Sort of just forced Emilius to overcommit. Uh, and as soon as as soon as Emilius did that, you know, numbers he had a, he had a huge punish for him. You know, uh, his sun salutation, his you know headers, his confirms they're ridiculous. They dealt so much damage. He was able to clean it up so well. All right, maintaining the bail. Trying to really lean into what Bay what makes Bayonetta so good. If John Numbers is gonna go off stage so much, then he's gonna try and kill him for it. Alas, you know, we see how well that worked out last game. Okay, that was a little wild. Right yeah, that's that's that, an awkward that interaction. 
Listen, when you have wacky projectiles like Wii Fit's Haru and yeah, Bayonetta, you know, you're gonna have a bunch of interesting interactions. You know, you see it, you're like, damn, I didn't even think that could happen like that. And you know what? It does. Uh, wow, Nambu's trying to go through the nail into the up out, not able to find the demo Willis. You know, he did a good job of denying that move. Just to go, uh, just to catch a slam with the back hit. Was not able to find it quite yet, though. What I always find surprising about John is that he'll, he already knows the reputation, I'll say, that he has for, uh, for how he plays in this game. So he'll actively feint, like he's sprinting right for ledge, and then just turn around, full skid animation, it's and the meta right conditioning. Back you. <laughs> it's the meta conditioning. You know, everybody already knows the way that you're gonna play. So you know what? Why not? You got you got to beat them inside and outside of the game. You know, but right now Emma Lillis is really really holding his own. Uh, the next person to take the stock, it's gonna be huge for them. I feel like this is consistent with numbers in every single uh, in every single situation like this. Numbers is always the first one to take the stock. He is good at clutching those out when he needs them. Goes through the back through for a bit of stage control. Emma Lillis has to be so careful about the way that he recovers too. Goes super high and then ends up going low, but numbers cleans it up and. There it is. Oh, right back at it. Not allowing numbers to use that stock lead to maintain momentum. Now Amaros doesn't need to fall back into that mindset of like, wow, I need to take this stock and numbers can feed off of that misplaced aggression. No, numbers, Amaros can keep playing the solid neutral that had won him a, a percent lead early on. Oh, oh well, just barely coming. making it back. Yeah, that was that was you know that was perfectly spaced for numbers. You know, leave it to him to know how to recover. Um, that being said, though, Amarillos, woo, still being able to hit through the head of just bonks we fit on the head one more time. Just said, you know what? I'm not done with you quite yet. Just that good old newspaper bonk. Again, we need we need that soundboard. I feel like Devin talked about it at some point, but, but we need the soundboard for those kinds of sound effects. Thank you, Jack. Good for the follow. Uh, you're watching a pretty intense set thus far. Oh, the up tilt, only getting an up air off of it. Not usually as much as Bayonetta it's gets damage. off of one hit, but damage is damage. The damage is damage after all. Uh, just goes for like what's guaranteed, what's true. Uh, doesn't want to like really overcome into that position right now. Amarillo is just sitting so patiently waiting for John to overcome at the ledge, but you know what? He is comfortable where he is, and that F smash, oh my god, just a couple of frames later than that would have been able to come out, would have been able to clean it up, but Numbers, he was on top of it. Man, Numbers is just, he knows. He knows that what Amaros is doing with all of these short hop feints, looking for back airs, looking for dash back F smashes, they all lose to just waiting. <laughs> and he's content to do that, but not- Wow, that F smash. Didn't, he, didn't even walk up. You know, he was he was already there. He was already where he wanted to be. He was able to get it with just like the tip of the knuckle. And just like that, we have a completely even game. Both of them at 0%. Number is going where he feels best. And I have to say, uh, when you get 0% and WeFit has like deep breathing on deck, you really don't want a shield there because I have seen WeFit's shield break from that position uh, and then get kills off of it. It is terrifying. I mean, that's to say the least. Challenging WeFit in her element is, well, challenging any character in their element is a little bit, yeah, a little bit spooky. That nice. And Lilith needed one catch. He needed one catch, one good lead, one good extension off stage, catching the jump from Numbies. Uh, just to be able to start to pile on the damage, but you can't miss those techs. You just can't. You, you can't do it to yourself. Um, the dive kick right past, looking for the punish. Numbers making him smell, making himself small. Trying to avoid all of the mid-air tricks that Amaros is going for, not looking to get caught, and instead looking to anti-air. Ooh, Emeril is just really nicely spacing that diagonal down ABK. Uh, so far away that even with all that end lag, Weefit does not have the boost to be able to get in there in time. Amarillus needs to stop going through these feints and actually commit. Uh, I feel like Amarillus has been going through so many like jumps, uh, jump backs, fade backs, you know, jumping into number space without actually pressing a button first. Uh, catching that drift out, but unfortunately nothing else after that ABK. Oh, and, no. uh, uh oh. Oh, oh no. Was a great workout. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Oh, oh geez, Rick. Let's take a look at that one more time. 
those. See, so, yeah, no, Emily Ellis had it. They got exactly what they were looking for, but uh, wasn't able to connect it. And then in all that end length, they got hit with, woo. I don't know how to feel about that one. Play, play it back, you, be able, you You got it. You you got this. I believe in you. You good? You be all? No. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> You wanna just go back? There's just there's not there's not a rewind button. There's just minus frames. Yeah. I've tried to implement. Yeah, yeah like I've definitely. Like we it, saw but... we saw the deceleration, right? We saw um, Emma Lillis's, uh what is it? Traction, whatever it's called, air friction. Excuse me, coming into play. Um, I yeah, don't know. The, the it, felt like, I... it felt like he should have lived. Felt like he should have lived. Like he started to slow down. What I'm thinking is that. He took advantage of the slowdown and tried to mash air dodge. Oh, no, he didn't. He wasn't in the bubble there. He didn't mash air dodge. He just... bayo has got long legs, and her heels touched the blast zone. Mm-hmm. A shame. <sighs> yeah. Tragic, truly. Uh, but you know what? You know, Emma Hill still has plenty of fire left in him. We could be seeing the studio. We could be seeing the studio through Numbies. We could be seeing a game five, and then Numbies says, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna finish this guy here. But what, wow, Emma Hill's already starting off with so. I was gonna say so much damage. Nope, 22%. It was a decent B and B, you know. Oh my God. Yeah, you just kind of expect a Bayonetta's B and Bs to be like, you know, 70, <laughs> not 70, but like, you know, 40 or around there. Yeah, but you mix, like up SDI, you mix up your SDI, you mix up your you mix up the way that you drift in your defensive options, make sure you don't get hit by any reads, and, you know, you can you can invalidate a lot of what Bayonetta is really good at, and that's piling on damage. Proper uh, defensive keep... play. Ooh. Yeah. That's oh, okay. it. That should be it. That should be it. There's no double jump. No, but Emma Willis not able to actually find the, uh, the witch time. John really cleverly going out uh, the towards the blast zone, and, yeah. Extended a bit too far out, pressed too many buttons, and suddenly had nothing left to get back into the stage. Alright, well, this is a start for Ward Air 1, it? 2, that 3. That should not be no, it. Yeah. Oh my goodness, at 128, too. I'm surprised. Keep breathing. It comes, it's more than just for offense, it's an all purpose buff. The full. Had it. He had it. Limit. He had it. He had it. He faded the defensive option. He faded it and allows no punish. And that smash was not able to reach, but the down, down is. You know what? Sure, why not? Numbers looked content just to wait out and see what Amaryllis did. And oh, speaking of what he did, what did he do to himself there? Just a directional air dodge. Still taking stocks even two years later. Right, oh, right now. Down uh -oh. tilts. Ooh, missing the tech on that back loop, but still being able to slide off. Um, either way, right now, that was a really, really clever use of the neutral be there just to poke at numbers, get a little bit of extra damage. You know, it can uniquely cover the space uh, and maybe make numbers feel like less keen to run away to the edge of the stage. Right now, piling on damage, parries the first hit of up tilt. Uh, Emily is not able to actually get the double hit, but this time finds a double hit. It's max numbers for being off stage all the way over there. Um, uh oh, stretcher. Oh boy. Uh, unfortunately, not able to take him to the ambulance quite yet. I, I heard the zip of the body bag. I heard it. But, but he came back at the last possible second. Yeah, tearing through the plastic and making sure he gets right into his offensive stance. That forward air is absolutely going to take it. Uh, be cleverly aware that Amaryllis has been trying to avoid the ledge as much as he can. Uh, ledge gameplay is exactly where Numbers wants you to be. So recovering to that platform and sighting with the jump early, sighting exactly the trajectory that Amaryllis is going to take and taking that rather quickly as per Town and City side blast zones, closing out the set, 3-0. Yep, it's numbers. You know, he he's he's clean. He's able to clean out the stocks. He's able to play his game. He's able to make you play his game. And then you think to yourself, wow, this is not, uh, no matter how many times I anticipate this, I still don't fully know how to do this. Uh, I think he did a great job. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> yeah, it was, he, he played the game real good. He's real good at that game. Unfortunate second stock coming out from Amaryllis, but he could fight for his chance in Losers Finals, but first we have to get there. And that is, you know, that comes with the current Losers Quarters as of course.